Bosphorus in beautiful Istanbul. Well, here we go, the bronze medal match for the ladies. It will be Jennifer Nichols facing Choi Hyeonju as they come striding out into the rain once again. Jennifer Nichols on the left on target number one, Choi Hyeonju on target number two. And Jennifer Nichols trying to cap off her season as the dignitaries look on. That rain really is uh, coming down harder now. I've got to say, Jennifer looks like she's from the wild, wild west. <laughs> she looks like she's ready for a shootout. Has the support of her brand new husband, who's cheering her on, coaching her here in Tokyo. Hey, Wild Choi Hyeonju, ranked 19th in the world. Her first year on the international stage, competing internationally for her country, and hoping to bring home a bronze medal herself. All in the hands of the judges. Who say, let's play. And play will begin. Yeah, this is definitely raining harder. Whether this will push any arrows down low, we'll have to see. Choi Hyeonju, who lost the shootout to her teammate, Kibo Bay, to shoot first. And shoots well, a 10. Well, that's significantly better than the, the way she started her last match, struggling with a, with a three. But uh, pop that one right in the 10. That's great. A tougher start for Jennifer Nichols. Eight. Gives Nichols a chance to come back. If she can get a 10 here, that would make it level so far. There you she go. does. From your lips to her ears, apparently. Each has shot an eight. Each of these archers has shot a 10. Another 10 for Choi Hyeonju. They're both on the line, but that's all we need. Touch the line, get the high score. So Jennifer Nichols hoping to split the points here in the first set, unable to do so. Now the Korean takes two point, two set point lead in this match. First to six wins. So a little advice from hubby for Jennifer Nichols. As he provides hopefully a calming influence. You could hear them talking a little bit about the win. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Most of the time we look at the trees and we look at the flags and it's pretty still. But it doesn't take much for a little bit to creep into the venue and that little bit might just move your arrows a little bit and little bits are what world titles come and go with. So a 2 nothing lead for Choi Hyeonju over Jennifer Nichols, who started off the season slowly in Shanghai, made progress in Antalya, then won three medals at stage three in Ogden, where, as we've already mentioned, she had those two huge clutch shots in the Olympic qualification tournament to send Team USA to London and the Olympics. Comes up with a nine on her first shot of the second set. And a nine for Choi. Not a good shot. Choi not having quite the same problems with her glasses that Luis Alvarez had. <laughs> She's got the hat on, which is keeping the rain off of the glasses. Yeah, those bucket hats, as we call them, they really are a blessing on days like today. Another nine for Nichols. And a ten for Choi. Just thinking about the fact that Choi's uh, last match was a one-hour shoot-off. That means her last five matches internationally have gone down to a one-hour shoot-off. Whether that means she likes them awesome <laughs> awesome or not, I'm not sure. But she keeps getting in that situation. 
Strong finish to the second set for Jennifer Nichols out of Cheyenne, Wyoming. And the heart rate in the high 70s. And her heart is pumping after that 10. And another set goes to the Korean archer, Choi Hyonju, trying to pick up this bronze medal. And Jennifer Nichols knows she's in a tough spot right now. It's great shooting from both the archers, though. 28 plays 29 in these conditions that you can quite clearly see. That's fantastic shooting. It's nice to see so much affection on the yes. shooting line today. Love is in the air here in Tokyo. <laughs> we've seen spouses, we've seen fiancés. And it's a great event that uh, these archers, at the end of the season, are able to bring their loved ones with them. Mm. And reward their loved ones for the support that they've given them all season long. Oh, many will say it's the perfect end to any archery season. Getting to the final. Nichols trying to battle back, get back into the match, trailing four to nothing. There you go. And that will start the comeback, perhaps. No, oh, great shot. Yes. Not the shot that Choi had in mind. Right here, sweetie. Shoot your shots. It's okay. Appears to be on the line for a nine. So Jennifer Nichols in pretty good shape right here in the third set. Maybe Choi's got a bit of a psychological issue about closing out a match because again, she's got the ability here to finish it and it's just slipping away. She's letting Nichols back in. Maybe that's why she keeps ending up in these one-hour shoot-offs. There you go. There it is. 10, 9, 10. And Jennifer Nichols has new life. Fantastic end, 29. So the match will continue despite that shot. And Jennifer Nichols wins the set, 29, 26. And we will move on to a fourth set with Choi Hyanju leading, but now by the count of four to two. So Jennifer Nichols trying to do what we saw Gail Prevost do and what we saw Choi Hyanju do against Kibo Bay. Come back after falling behind by four points. Get the comeback, never easy. And it's, sometimes it's gotta be a two-sided affair. You've gotta hope that your opponent just doesn't keep up such perfect form and you can just uh, raise your game and get the points back. And that's what Jennifer's doing. Nobody heading for the exits, not with this kind of drama. Jennifer Nichols in a position if she can win this next set to tie the match at four all. Here's your shot, sweetie. But this first shot of the set is so important. Mm. It's not what she was looking for. And Choi Hyanju going for the kill. Maybe she'll be able to close this one out. Right here, shoot your Through the raindrop, she finds the center ring. She's not giving up. Trying to battle back. Everyone wants a medal. What's up? You can. So it's a one-point lead for Choi Hyanju as we approach. Of course, that's a start this third arrow, arrow as well, so we don't know for sure. Good shot. Big shot right there for Jennifer Nichols. Who could have 27 or she could have 28. We're going to have to wait for the official to score that arrow. Will it matter? It depends upon this shot from Choi Hyonju, and now it will matter. It will definitely matter, and we'll have to wait and see. 
Jennifer Nichols saying her prayers right now, hoping that it's on the line and it's scored as an eight. If not, then the bronze medal belongs to Choi Hyonju. Yeah, again, we're left in the situation. The archers are just standing there nervously waiting for the judge to signal. And looking at the camera, I couldn't tell whether that was a seven or an eight. Right now, of both of the archers holding their breath. Waiting, waiting, waiting to see. Again, in cases like this, the Falcon Eye scoring system who may be that was so I don't even looking at that awfully close. Yeah, I don't know. Awfully close. Is the judge going to signal? I believe they may have scored it an eight. Okay. So it playing. was scored an eight, so mm. play on. So after four sets, Jennifer Nichols, who fell behind 4 nothing early on, manages to stay alive. They split the points in that set, so the score goes to 5-3 in favor of Choi Hyonju. On to the fifth set we go here in the downpour in Tokyo. There you go. Good Strong shot. nine, Good just shot. off to the left. Good shot. But Nichols must absolutely win this set outright. And she stands a pretty good chance after that shot by Choi. She's, she's been given chances. I think we're going to have a shoot off. Ooh, I spoke that too soon. Will really make things difficult. You can see the shoulders sag. And Choi Hyanju picks it up with a nine. That's all she needs. Ten really wouldn't go amiss. Good job. Got the ten. <laughs> you called it. But now she has to stand back. And all she can do is watch. What a helpless feeling right here as Choi Hyanju has a chance to put this match away and get the bronze medal. And it's an eight. So we're tied up. They off, split the points. We shoot off. It's Choi Hyanju winning it, I believe. Uh, she split course. the points. She got the one point she needed. And it's a six to three win for Choi Hyanju. Of course. Not her best oh. shot of the match, but. I was hoping for another shoot off. Had it not been for that six, we would have gone to a shoot off. Yeah. But that six tells the story for Jennifer Nichols. Great sport. Great competitor, really battled all the way to the end. Two great competitors going at it here in the rain in Tokyo. And Choi Hyanju applauded by Jennifer Nichols. Great sportsmanship. And Choi Hyanju now able to exhale a little bit as she wins it six to three. Split that fifth and deciding set but picked up the one point she needed. Again, all you need to do is get to six points before the other archer, and you are the winner. And Choi Hyanju got there first. Got the six points. And Jennifer Nichols putting on a great show here, but coming up just a little bit short. She did. And falling by the count of six to four. Excuse me, six to four was the final score.